remember last time I came out to Jim's out here in Deanville, the bass were keying on dragonflies. So I, that was Saturday. So I went home and I tied me up some new flies to emulate dragonflies. That's what I came up with. You see that? That looks like a dragonfly. Well, I had a job to do in Rosenberg, and even though Deanville's not quite on my way back, uh, it ended up being that way. After all, I'm driving on the clock. Ha! But I'm gonna go jump the fence here and go down in the pond and throw these things a few times, see if I see if I did it right. I think I did. These bass are just keying on these dragonflies, and I think this is a good imitation, and I'll bet they knock the snot out of it. Fixing to find out. Let me run down the road and see what happens. Yeah, jump the fence here. Just jump the gate. Right, head on back down the road a little bit here. A little bit of a walk down the road. Take me just a minute. I'm only gonna fish long enough to see if prove this thing works. Prove that dragonfly works. If it works, I'm done. I gotta get back to work anyway. Oh, dragonflies. That's why this lure ought to work. This place is jacked jillions of dragonflies. Any other fishermen today? Yeah, the wind's not gonna do me no favors. It's blowing hard. Right out of south, probably 25 miles an hour. I like fishing, I know how. It won't stop me. Well, that's after quite a bit of casting and it's holding up pretty good. I took the weed guard off it because I've had several hits but nobody seems to be able to hang on to it so I took that weed guard off. I'm going to change to my other model. I've got a smaller one that's built the other direction on the hook so the hook's out the, hook's out the head of the fly instead of the tail. See if that works. Alright, there's my other one. My other dragonfly. Built in the other opposite direction, the head's on the hook of the fly. The tail goes straight out to the long shank hook. We'll see if that doesn't work. See if I can catch a bullfrog with a dragonfly. Watch this. Just drop that fly right out in front of him. First little bass on the dragonfly. He took it. There you go. First fish on the dragonfly. See, I built that one backward, or well, opposite of what we normally do it. It was just sitting there. He picked it up, thought it was real. That's what I hoped would happen. Thank you. 
a little disappointing, but as far as fish goes, but there's lots of other wildlife to take pictures of. I enjoy doing that too. I'm just going to head back to the car, go back to Brian, go back home. Nice little cardinal. Red bird. It's amazing how much wildlife is out here. Pretty snake. Old Texas rat snake, I think. Good for the environment. Get in there, get a good picture. Hanging <laughs> on that branch, you don't think I can see I can get. Definitely keep an eye on me. Isn't that cool? Not often I get a chance to get one that close where he doesn't run off, but he feels safe in this tree. That gives a lot of people the eebie-jeebies, but that snake ain't gonna hurt him nothing. He is just doing his own thing. He's just doing his own thing, which I am gonna let him continue to do. To keep the rats and all that stuff in control. Personal. Alright buddy. You have a good day. We'll see you later. Probably more of them in here. <laughs> That's a pretty cool tree here. Lays flat. All oh, it's undercover right here. It's a dragonfly party. Hundreds of them all on the back side of this tree, back here in the where the wind can't get at. Look at them all, just a gene of them. All the dragonflies, a whole lot of stuff to see out here on the walk backs.